How's it going everybody? My name is just Jared, but you can just call me Jared and welcome back to another Destiny 2 loot news video. Just a few hours ago, Bungie released their weekly update and with it came a sneak peek at six brand new armor sets that we'll be able to acquire in Shadowkeep and the Season of the Undying. We're going to take a look at each of these armor sets, talk about which ones are my favorite, discuss what the community thinks of the new reskinned raid armor, and touch on what armor sets will be returning as reprised 2.0 gear. Now, if you're a fan of loot in games, I cover a ton of upcoming and current game news with a heavy focus on solely loot, so if that's your thing, consider subscribing, and if you enjoy the video and find it informative, a like helps me out a ton. Without further ado, let's take a look at these gorgeous new armor sets. I will link the Bungie weekly update down in the description if you guys want to check it out on your own time and read everything there is. Besides armor sets, they touch on a ton of sandbox changes, like a huge amount of sandbox changes, crucible changes, super changes, heavy ammo, things like that. I'll leave that info up for you guys to read or hear for that sweet, tasty loot. First armor set is the Dreambane set, which is acquirable from Activities on the Moon and is probably my favorite destination armor set. Usually, at least for me, the destination armor sets are pretty lackluster, which I guess makes sense because they are really not too tough to acquire, but I've always been a fan of the astronaut look, and that is definitely apparent with the Dreamsbane set. Now, I made a hunter in Destiny 2. I hope to run all three classes once Shadowkeep releases, but hunter is my favorite, and I like the hunter armor here the best out of the three for sure. Big fan of the Warlock's gloves, chest, and helmet. I wish they did a little bit more for the Titan, it literally just looks like a spacesuit, which isn't totally bad, but if you can see with the others, there's a lot more experimentation and styles to them. Once again, this is a legendary armor set you can acquire via moon activities, and you have to own Shadowkeep to obtain them. Next, we have the Garden of Salvation raid armor set, which is obviously acquired from the new raid, the Garden of Salvation, which launches on October 5th, four days after Shadowkeep drops. This armor set was leaked out all over the internet a few days ago, and people were not happy that the new raid armor was reskinned Eververse armor. This armor set is in fact a reskin of the Trials of Osiris expansion Mechanos Eververse set. Although probably the best looking Eververse set, people were still pretty upset that they won't be getting something completely unique as rewards from doing the toughest challenge in Destiny. It makes sense, and I totally agree. That being said, this new version of the armor does have armor glow to it, and it looks like it has a lot more detail etched into it. All in all, it looks pretty dope. As far as I can tell, opinion on this armor is mixed. Some people think it looks amazing and don't care as much that it's a partial reskin. Others are still pretty upset. Good thing is, there's four more armor sets to look at, and they're all looking pretty spicy. So let's not dwell too much on the negative and move on to the next set. Oh, also, I like the Warlock raid set the best. Not much of the fan of the Hunters, unfortunately. The Substitutional Armor Set can be acquired from Seasonal Activities, the Free Season Rank Rewards, and the Premium Season Rank Rewards. In the new Season Rank Reward system that Bungie is implementing with Season of the Undying, basically it's a battle pass, you'll be able to obtain this armor as you level up the ranks. If you have the free tiers of Season Ranks, you'll get each armor piece at various ranks, and if you have access to the premium Season Rank tiers, you'll get the full set of this armor at Rank 1. Do note that when you get this armor from the Season Ranks, it will drop pretty basic. To get better versions of this armor, you'll have to take part in the Season of the Undying Seasonal Activities, that being the new Vex Offensive Activity, which will go live either when the raid launches or when the raid is beaten. As far as my opinions on this armor, I like it a lot. It's definitely not as out there as the other armor sets here, but I like the subtleness of the leaves adorning different parts of the armor. I really like the Titan helmet and chest and the Hunter chest, gloves, and cloak. The Warlock set looks a little boring to me, but maybe some other shaders would change my mind. The Phenotype Plasticity Universal Ornament set. My god. Look at this beauty. The best set here, hands down. Love each class. You can only get this set if you own the Season of the Undying. You don't have to own Shadowkeep. Remember, you can purchase the Seasons a la carte now, so you really only need the Season of the Undying to be able to get this armor set, and holy hell, it's worth it. This is a universal ornament set, not an actual armor set. Basically, you'll be able to apply this look to any armor piece. So if you like the stats and mods of a certain helmet, but you don't like the look, you can just attach this helmet look to that helmet, problem solved. 
Essentially, it's transmogrification, and if you played other loot games or hack and slash games, you know that term well. This armor is just too good to be true. I mean, yeah, we've seen it before in the promotional material for the Season of the Undying, so it's not a total surprise or anything like that, but to be able to look at it completely, it's epic. I'm just imagining my favorite shaders on this set, like Bramble, Purple Shader that I can't pronounce, or the old new Monarchy Shader. Man, I can't wait. I do wonder if the white glow around the armor and the center of the chest can change color, or if it solely remains true to the Vex and stays milky. The fifth armor set we get to see is the Iron Will set, which is the new Iron Banner gear. Paul Tassi over on Twitter summed it up quite nicely, calling it the Samurai Astronaut look. Not a fan of the Titan and Warlock sets. The Hunters is alright. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Sucks because I've got over 1,000 Iron Banner tokens that I've been saving up since forever ago, waiting for a set to come around that I actually like for Iron Banner. I like the cloak and the chest piece on the Hunter, but that's really about it. Last but not least, we have the Eververse exclusive set, the Empyrean Cartographer gear. You'll only be able to get this through Eververse, so Eververse engrams earned from the seasonal ranks and from just straight up purchasing them from the store. This set is super wacky all over the place. The shader doesn't necessarily help in showing it off at all, but I absolutely do not like the Warlock set. It just looks weird to me, and I can't quite place exactly why. The Titans and Hunters are both dope. The Titan helmet, I mean, that's freaking sweet, and the gloves have awesome design. Everything about the Hunter is right up my alley, so I'm cool with all that. And that's all for the armor sets. All six. To be honest, I wish Bungie didn't show off all this armor. I wish they waited for Shadowkeep's release, but to be fair, I think their main goal here was to calm the community after the freakout over the raid reskins, and I think that was the right choice. Let me know what you think of the armor, which one is your favorite, and why is it every Hunter set? Am I right or am I right? Real quick before we end the video, I'll go through all the armor sets that will be returning as Reprise 2.0 armor when Shadowkeep launches on October 1st. That armor includes Year 1 Crucible and Vanguard armor and ornaments, the Black Armory Forge armor, the Gambit armor that was included with Forsaken, Gambit Prime armor, All Menagerie armor, the Leviathan, Eater of Worlds, Spire of Stars, Last Wish, Scourge of the Past, and Crown of Sorrow raid armor, EDZ, Titan, Io, Mars, Nessus, Mercury, Tangled Shore, and Dreaming City Destination Armor, and the Escalation Protocol Armor. There you have it. And that's it for this video. Remember, the link to Bungie's weekly update is down below if you want to check out all the upcoming changes to sandbox stuff and whatnot. Give me your thoughts on the armor sets. I want to know which is your favorite, why it's your favorite, are you upset with the raid armor, or are you chill with it? Let me know. On a side note, now that my PC is working again, I'll be uploading some D2 videos covering the other recent loot news that I missed, including the new exotics and legendaries that we saw from PAX, and the new seasonal rank system, so stay tuned for those, as well as for any upcoming loot news that we hear about Shadowkeep. If you are a fan of loot in games, I cover current and upcoming games with a heavy focus on loot mechanics, so if that tickles your fancy, consider subscribing, and if you enjoyed this video or found it informative at all, leaving a like really helps me out. Thanks for watching, my name has been Just Jared, until next time, have a legendary day, and happy looting.